This is a short uh, video and what I'm going to do here is I'm not really going to work on any worked examples in this particular instance. I'm just going to list out a few of the uh, Taylor series that I'm going to use in a few other examples. All these are quite important actually to know and so first one I'm actually going to talk about is sine of x. Okay. Now the Taylor series for that equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus, no, sorry, minus x to the power of 5 over 5 factorial minus 7, uh, x, sorry, x to the 7 uh, over 7 factorial. Uh, and so on. Now, just a couple of points to remark on that one. Do you know what? First off, actually, what I'll do is I will do cosine of x as well so that we see them together. This is very similar, except we have. We're going to work with the even numbers and the cosine one. and so on. So just a sort of remark and um, sort of a couple of points to note when you're doing these. So it's this is x to the power of 0 essentially over 0 factorial which is 1 or no sorry that's 1 actually I'm getting it the wrong way around. It's the other one one underneath it is x to the power of 0 and um, this is x to the power of 1 over 1 factorial you could sort of say. Uh, what we have here are all the odd numbers and what we have here are all the even numbers. Okay, so x to the power of 0 over 0 factorial, that would just give us 1. Uh, just as another uh, point to note that we have minus signs the entire way through, okay, on both of them. Now, they don't alternate between plus or minus like a couple of other examples. Now, I'm going to be doing a couple of examples of complex analysis, so I'll just actually mention one here that relates to complex analysis. So we have cos x plus i sine of x, okay? The Taylor expansion of that is 1 plus ix plus ix squared over 2 factorial plus ix cubed over 3 factorial and so on. Now just as a remark this corresponds to this is the co cosine terms here uh, from the last one. Now just as a remark we have minus or sorry we have 1 uh, x squared there and 1x would be squared, that's equal to minus x squared uh, because x, i squared is 1 so that's how that would correspond to the cosine part. Uh, here we have the sine parts so we have minus x, let's just go back to the previous slide there we have there, this, this is our x here and we have minuses here, so what's that about? So we have minus i x cubed Remember that uh, uh, that is equal to minus i cubed x cubed over 3. Uh, sorry, that's plus i cubed even. And plus i cubed is equal to minus i x cubed over 3. And those go on, those continue on the same way, but essentially, you know, when you're dealing with Taylor series, it's actually quite often this sort of stuff you'll be dealing with. Just a sort of point to sort of finish up on, uh, the writing it the way I've written it there, uh, you can sort of see that there are uh, plus terms between, uh, plus values between each term. Uh, you know, we use every power of x, x, x to the power of 0, x to the power of 1, x squared, and we have over at 2 factorial, 3 factorial, and so on. 
and we also have i as part of so rather than x we have i to the power i x okay um you know it's pretty easy to sort of uh deduce the cosine terms and the sine terms there okay so the next one is e to the power of x now this is another one that you should remember and this is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x squared over 3 factorial and so on and the, the, the term is essentially x to the power of n over n factorial that's the sort of common term so you can write it out as follows from uh, i equal to 0 to n x to the power of n over n factorial okay e to the power of x okay you can do that some uh, quick examples there to evaluate e squared you would get uh, 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared over 2 factorial and so on that'll be give you 4 over 2 that'll be 2 and so on that would help you evaluate that. And I'm going to leave it there, but that's how you might sort of... Actually, let's put that 4 over 2. Um, I'm going to leave that there, but it sort of gives you a sort of sense of how you would use these to uh, evaluate something. So that's e to the power of x. So that's one you should remember. That one there. Okay. Uh, next one is e to the power of i over z. Okay, now uh, Z here is just sort of a uh, general term. I could have gone for X there as well. But just, uh, I'll e, actually, no, I'll just go E to the power of I over X. Uh, so this is 1 plus 1 over X plus 1 over X squared 2 factorial. Uh, plus the next term here is 1 over X cubed. 3 factorial and so on. So the general term here is the general, the nth term is essentially 1 over x to the power of n n factorial. Okay? Or the nth plus 1 term. So essentially the evaluation is like as follows i equals 0 to n. Okay, of that expression there. Uh, okay, uh, that's one that will turn out to be quite useful. Now the next two are the two very important ones and once I have done th those done I will leave this presentation there. So 1 plus a to the power of n and uh, this is equal to 1 minus a plus a squared minus a cubed and so on. This is just an important one here. This is where the signs alternate okay so the next one will be plus a squared or plus a, a4 and so on so the general term for that is minus 1 to the power of n okay so that helps us alternate between the plus and minus sign so if you have a positive number there it's a minus as a positive number there that's a plus 1 and if you have a negative number there it's a minus 1 and a to the power of n and again from i equals 0 to um, n. So quite often that is going to be quite a useful uh, expression there, that one. Last one for this uh, presentation. Now again I'm just sort of doing a quick run through because uh, I'm going to use a couple of these in other uh, future presentations and I just don't want to be sort of uh, taking them out of the bag so to speak, out of nowhere. I just sort of like have a sort of bit of background where they came from and so on. This one, a minus 1 to the power of n and we have a cubed. So this one's pretty easy. This is the general term for this is a n. So let's write that there. That's the sum of a to the power of n. Uh, from n from i equals 0 to n. Okay. So those are a couple of important Taylor series to remember. I'm going to use them in future presentations. Anyway, this was meant as a short video just to sort of talk about where I'm coming up with these. So anyway, we'll leave that there.